So with 3.2 approaching in a week's time, I wanted to give my thoughts on the upcoming banners and also maybe give my predictions on who's gonna come out in 3.3. So on the first half of 3.2, we have the long awaited Nahida and we have Yoimiya. Huh? Yes, you heard it correctly, Yoimiya, again. It's very shocking to see how fast she came back, but what this tells me is that Yoimiya will certainly have a story event related to her because there's no way that she's back so fast for no reason. Also not to mention the timing for Yoimiya is not always great. Over time, I grew to love Yoimiya and I grabbed her back in 2.8 after Kazuha, not thinking she'd be back for a long time, but I was wrong. If you guys don't remember, Yoimiya was smushed between Ayaka and Raiden Shogun back then. Obviously the next time was 2.8 right after Kazuha and then in between Sumeru as well coming after her. And now she's right next to what everybody's been saving for for a while now. Nahida. So her track record is not too good, but the character is fine. I like the character a lot, but I just wish she'd maybe get a better time for her banner. However, a lot of people, including myself, are very, very psyched about Nahida because of course Nahida is an Archon. And as we all know, Archons are pretty darn good in general. From what we've seen so far, her kit looks unique with a whole sort of like aiming style, like an archer, but she's a catalyst user. She marks enemies with Dendro, and in my opinion, she has the best looking ult in the entire game. And since we don't have too many Dendro units in the game right now, Nahida is automatically a great addition just by default. Now, moving on to the weapon banner. Honestly, this looks pretty stacked, I'm not gonna lie. Now, here's the thing. However, seems to be doing more dual banners each time nowadays, because there's so many characters that are gonna be out now, they have to kind of compensate for that, so they're doing more reruns at a time. So we have two banners in the first half, two banners in the second half, and I think they're gonna continue to go about it like that going forward. And what that means is weapon banners will actually be a lot better than they used to be, because now there won't be that blank spot for like a summit shaper or something. It'll usually be the character's signature weapon. So in this case, of course, Nahida and Yoimiya side by side, that gives us the Thundering Pulse and Nahida's signature weapon, Thousand Floating Dreams. And then we have the second half of the 3.2 banner, which is Child and Yai Miko. Now, honestly, this is actually a pretty stacked banner once again. Yai Miko is definitely really good, especially now with Dendro and all the reactions with Aggravate, Quicken, and things like that. And then also you have Child, who is also pretty good in Dendro because he's Hydro and you can't really go wrong with Hydro. In my opinion, it seems like Tartaglia would be pretty good for Hyper Bloom teams. You could have like an off-field Electro unit and then of course a Dendro applicator and he'd be the on-field Hydro user. So what he would do is he would make the blooms and then the person with the Electro would cause the Hyper Blooms. But he would always be dealing heavy damage with his Riptide. And also not to mention, the weapon banner for the second half will be pretty strong as well. It'll be Kagura's Verity and Polar Star. So once again, the reason why this is so good is just because you can't really go wrong unless you really, really want one of the weapons. You're not getting skimped by like the Memory of Dust or the Summit Shaper or something. And let's not forget Layla, which is going to be on the second half as well. Kind of a bummer because everybody's going to be wishing on the Hita's banner. But either way, I'll try and snipe Layla if I can. She seems to be some sort of like cryo shielder, but also kind of like a damage dealer at the same time. She does not heal, it looks like. So she will be put up against Diona in terms of four star v four star and capabilities. I definitely want to check her out, but we'll have to see when she comes out fully. So here's where the speculation starts on who I think will come out in the future patches. So for 3.3, assuming Scaramouche is actually a playable character, I'm gonna go ahead and say Scaramouche will be on the first half of 3.3, front row and center, and right alongside him will be none other than Raiden Shogun. And the reason for that is because Zhongli came out in 3.0. I feel like the Hyoverse is trying to get the Archons out for newer players. So 3.0 was Zhongli alongside Tainari, 3.1 was Venti alongside Sino, and 3.2 was Kusanali, also an Archon, and now we're in 3.3. It would only be right to finish off the Archon train with Raiden Shogun. So I think she'll be on the first half as well alongside her son. Now for the second half of 3.3, this is where things get interesting because we're usually used to Albedo rerunning in December, but that didn't happen this time. He reran back in 3.1. So we all kind of thought Eula was going to pop up back then. So I'm going to go ahead and just slot Eula in 3.3 on the second half. But the other character, that's a hard one. I'm going to go ahead and assume possibly, if we're lucky, maybe Hu Tao. 
Now, that's kind of a hot take. I don't know if Hu Tao would show up at this point in time. Hu Tao is now officially the character with the longest gap from their last rerun in the history of Genshin. So unless she happens to rerun on the first half of 3.3, which is not likely, she would still be matched with Ganyu, but if not, she will have the longest rerun of all time. So assuming they don't want to wait all the way until the second half of 3.4, I'm going to put Eula and Hu Tao on the second half of 3.3. And the huge issue with Hu Tao is they don't like to rerun her around the time of Chinese New Year, because during Chinese New Year, in that time period, any talk about death or funerals or even wearing like dark colors is actually considered taboo over there. So they really don't like that and don't want to do anything about that. And that's what Hu Tao is all about, essentially, with her character. So we can assume that's not going to happen. However, this year, Chinese New Year is actually on the 22nd of January, which is fairly early because last year it was in February. So the only hope is to rewind her before that or wait till way after that, which would be the second half of 3.4 once again. So I assume they don't want to wait that long. I Maybe I think 3.3, that was my thought process. But honestly, I don't know, man. This character is just... I don't know how long they're gonna wait but either way i hope you guys enjoyed the video these are my predictions for 3.3 and what i think about 3.2 coming up i wish you guys luck on a banner coming soon and i will catch you guys in the next one